Hello and welcome to Make Explore Art. Now today we're going to look at paper weaving and how to create your own samples at home using limited resources. So all you'll need is a variety of papers, a ruler, a pen and some scissors, possibly a glue stick or some sellotape. We'll start with the wonky weave which is inspired by op art and I've got four sheets of coloured paper. First of all, fold your piece of paper in half with the fold facing towards you. Then measure two centimetres from the top. Draw a straight line. Now we're going to create our warp. So I've chosen to do diagonal lines in a sort of pyramid shape. You'll notice that my lines don't touch each other, but they do touch each side. So as long as they meet the folded edge and the edge where you've put your line, that's absolutely fine. Now you're going to cut into these, but make sure you stop before that top line. Any weave, whether it's on a traditional loom or a paper loom, you need a warp and a weft. The warp is the vertical line that runs all the way through the weave and the weft is whatever you put in between the warp. So in our case, it's always going to be paper, but in a traditional sense, it may well be wool or something else. Now you're going to make your weft. They're going to be straight lines of other coloured papers. These strips can be thick or thin and using whatever paper you want. Now to start our plain weave. So you simply go over and under, over and under, right to the edge of your paper. Secure this weft piece by gluing each side. And once we've done that, we're going to carry on. I'm going to use yellow next. So instead of going over and under, I'm going to go under and over, the alternative to what I've done in the first line making sure that's nice and secure with a couple of dots of glue, but also that it's pushed right next to that orange piece so that there's no gaps in between. And just keep going, right until the base of your page. So for this second paper weave example, I've chosen to be a bit more accurate with my measurements and I'm measuring one centimetre spaces for my warp. So like before with my wonky weave, I just need to make sure that this is nice and precise and that I stop at that top line. Now 
up, simply follow the same steps as before. You'll find it's closer together, so it will give you a different pattern or design. Why not create your own papers? Why not draw your own illustrations onto a piece of paper and then use that as your weft? The possibilities really are endless with this. And finally, some other options that I've used. So I've changed thick and thin papers for this particular weave. And for this one, I've just used a newspaper. So you do have to be quite careful with that. It's quite a lot thinner, but it works in just the same way. And all I've done is use the same materials. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to Make Explore Art for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. And see you next time.